Hello, everyone. Today is February 10th, 2022. This is the Kubernetes Storage Seek meeting. So today we will go through our 1.24 planning spreadsheet. So if you are working on any feature, you want to write a blog, make sure that you um, ping one of the seek lead so we can add that in this uh, spreadsheet. So we will start adding the items in the spreadsheet. Uh, and, the, and the deadline, the next deadline, March 23rd, this is the feature block opt-in freeze. Basically by that date, we just need to add the entry in this, uh, in this uh, spreadsheet if you want to write a blog. And then March 30th is the code freeze. Uh, I think the, and then there's this deadline April 12th, that's later for the docs and blog must be completed and reviewed. Okay, so let me go to the spreadsheet. First one is the CSI online offline resizing per month. Uh, hello. Hey, yeah. Uh, yeah, so the enhancements are on track. I to move CSI online, offline, and like expansion in general uh, to GA. Uh, I have one bug to fix basically, uh, like at least as far as general expansion is concerned, which is like like the, the read write many. And I'm working on it. I have not actually started quite yet, to be honest. I had it. I had a PR that didn't get merged like a couple of years back. I have to update it and yeah, so, but I'll start working on it sometime next week. And then, uh, yeah, that, that's it on that one. Okay, thank you. Yeah, so that's, uh, that one is uh, on track. Cap is merged. Uh, and then the recall from resize failure. Do you have any update for this one? Yeah, the cap is merged and it's on track and uh, yeah, so well, we are working on uh, moving the feature kit to beta with potentially like fixing the case that Michelle brought, which is like allowing users to go back all the way to the original size. Thank you. And next one is issues related to assuming volumes are mount points. This is a bug fix. Is the gene here? Okay. And the next one, I think it's related. Determine mount points without relying to proc months. Is there any update on this one? Uh, Yang, Jing, or Menu, anyone here? Is this still being reviewed or is this merged? I don't I... know, to be honest. No, up uh, I'm sorry, no update? No still update, being reviewed? No update. <laughs> oh, okay. I don't know. Um, okay, all right. Okay. Can check it next time. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And then the next one is the CSI ephemeral volume. So we're trying to bring to GA. Uh, yeah. Jonathan? Yeah, the cap merged. I have a bug to work on and some testing to do. Thank you. And uh, one group, yeah, I still, I don't have an update to get back to this one. And CSI auto tree move, ice, cause it driver fit and finish. Uh, home, okay, image building, I thought there was a, yeah, there was a release out. So I'm not sure what we, okay. So from releases out, we need to deprecate ice, cause we break up. Okay, so I'm not sure if, uh, Humble is doing this, or is Humble on the call? No, just to check with Humble.
next six Caesar root remove send by six Caesar driver to GA. Is there any update on this one? Uh, so Michelle or Matt know anything about this? And you, Julie. I think last time I, I followed up, um, we were trying to fix the build so that it would the image would be published to our repo. Um, I have not checked to see if that was fixed yet. Okay. So you will try you will check with Julie again? Is that you or yeah, I th yeah. think we'll need to make uh, um, Andy at the point here. Uh, Julie is taking a leave, so she is out uh, of uh, my con contact. Oh, okay. Thank you. And next one is a PVC volume snapshot namespace transfer. Uh, is uh, Mustafa or Masaki here? So I uh, I asked Masaki, he said he is interested in working with uh, Mustafa on this and they, um, at least they, they chatted on this. So, uh, but it's just uh, uh, not immediately. So, so it's uh, still um, talking design for this release. So let's see. He can work with. Next one, CSI volume health, additional metrics. Uh, there, is a, there is a PR, I think still, uh, okay, so I need to stop pin people to get that PR merged. And the next one, CSI volume health, programmatic. Um, response. So I need to check with uh, Nick and see if he's back. So, Next one is volume populator. Then, uh, by the way, oh, yes. sorry, the volume health. Did anyone saw in the last uh, Linux kernel update? There was support for monitoring file system and get like before. Uh, IO errors happen, you can monitor and get health update asynchronously, actually. That's pretty, I don't know if you... How, how is that different from smart data? Uh, it's, I think it's it's file system level rather than the smart data, which was which is more like the hardware level. That's interesting. So like the, like if you had a, well, okay. <laughs> that kind of blows my mind. But that's yeah. interesting. <laughs> yeah, it's, it was there in the last Linux kernel update. I think it was, I don't know if you want to use yeah, it. I, I will be reading up on it for sure because I'm curious, but it, it probably won't matter for Kubernetes for a little while because you know kernels take a while to roll out, but we yeah. could start to investigate the solution there. <laughs> cool. So. Um, okay, so, so right now I think we just to check the, like the usage capacity, things like that, right? We don't really check anything else on the file system side. There is, I think there was some, some like stats that we are collecting. Well, it, yeah. Individual drivers are responsible for doing things like FSDK if needed. Um, and, and, and doing any sort of cleanup at, at stage, stage or publish time, right? <laughs> there's all kinds of weird conditions you can end up in where a file system becomes unmountable. And today it's just this, the, the plugin's responsibility to resolve those issues <laughs> or, or else you can't use the volume. Yeah, there's this uh, F notify, F A notify API. Oh, mm. okay. uh, I linked it in the chat if anybody is curious. Okay. I, mean, I, I, th I think the general solution is a lot of drivers just do a gratuitous FSCK before every mount, which is harmless and, and a good practice. <laughs> Uh, actually, uh, XFS engine people, engine kernel engineers who reviewed some of that Kubernetes code, they said it's not good idea to always FSCK, and uh, 
that well, I mean, it, it can be wasteful, but I never think it's harmful, right? Uh, I think we can take this that offline, but there was some concern about that it could be, it could result in problems. The mounting itself replaced the journal and uh, tries to correct it. So it's better to mount and unmount rather than run FSCK at every, uh, at every, so yeah, like. But, but, but the, the one thing that that prevents is if you, I mean, you're correct that amount, a lot of issues get solved automatically, but sometimes I've seen file systems where the mount succeeds fine, but then you try to do a resize and it says you can't resize this until you do an FSCK, yeah. but it's already mounted and you can't do an FSCK while it's mounted. So now you can't do a resize until after the pod goes away because you can't unmount it until the pod dies. So if you just do the FSCK up front, you have a higher probability of being able to do a resize while the pod is running. That might be a different case, but the feedback we got from uh, kernel engineers on the uh, issue where people were trying to add for XFS was like running, trying to like FSCK and corresponding XFS repair, whatever it is, I, I don't remember what it's called. It was not meant to be invoked automatically. And yeah. it's it's if like programmatically, it will make things worse. So we had to revert. Oh. So, so yeah, I, I have less experience with XFS in particular than EXT4. Yeah. For EXT4, you can end up in a situation where you have a mounted file system that's functioning, but you can't resize it until you do an FSCK, which is kind of weird. But it happens. Yeah, I've seen that as well. Yeah. Okay. Thanks uh, for that uh, update, Haman. Um, so uh, the next one, this is a uh, volume populator pen. Mm. Yeah, yeah. So th with the populators, um, we are. I, I updated the cap for the uh, enhancement freeze, so that's done. We're on the. We're on the, the list of things for 124. We're in the process of reviewing the metrics change. Um, Shing, I don't know. I didn't see a response from you yet. Oh, sorry. I, <laughs> okay, it, I will. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. I just, yeah. Uh, all right. um, and I'm, I'm also in the process of doing the, the other metrics update to the library um, and pushing that PR. And then there will be testing and releasing. And OK. We have until, I guess, the end of March. But oh, but but there needs to be a an, an entry change to ch switch the feature gate, and there was a big discussion yesterday about uh, beta features still defaulting to off. But then we concluded that that only applies to new AP beta APIs, and the beta feature gates do default to on. So oh so yeah, this actually one, I, this I, one I forgot to, to on. I forgot to follow up on that one. I'm not sure if uh, Michelle, have you or do you know anything about this? Uh, is the beta feature now? There is a cap saying on by default. Jordan uh, submitted a cap for that. Is that it was for beta APIs in particular, saying beta yeah. APIs should be off by default. But we can, yeah. I don't know if Michelle knows anything, but any uh, otherwise we can follow up with that offline. Yeah, I haven't seen this. If you can send the link. Okay. Uh, next, cozy. Okay, so uh, I actually did not. I didn't check the cap status. So, Michelle, uh, are you still reviewing that? Right? I have not. Yeah. Checked the latest. Still being reviewed. Yeah, that. I think there's. Um, Sid made some updates, and so it's on my plate to take a look again. Okay. Next one, uh, change block tracking. Uh, I yeah, don't have an update. So check with phone. Next one is a runtime assisted mounting deep. Hey, uh, so I had a review with uh, Signal this week and uh, basically, um, the, the feedback was they want to see the APIs that we discussed earlier in CSI uh, plumb through CRI now. Uh, so I'll be just updating the cap uh, with uh, 
kind of like the new suggestions for uh, the latest suggestions from Signound and uh, reach back to them. Oh, so they, they want you to go through CRI, basically, not a Correct. Thing, they, not, not a CSI. Well, because it, you would have to do both, right? You'd have to make yeah, some changes to CSI and some changes to CRI, I think, to achieve what he described. Exactly. There will be okay. uh, some changes to CSI, uh, okay. which are not as controversial, I guess. And okay. then uh, the runtime side changes, um, Signode wanted to see them kind of proposed through CRI at least, and then uh, they'll do further reviews and iterate on that. So that was the feedback. Okay. So basically it's, uh, remember la last time when we look at it, there's a new runtime service, so that won't be there anymore. That's exactly. CRI, I see. But there will still be some CSI changes. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, that's good. <laughs> we can uh, move forward with this. Thanks. Sure. So the next one is a CSI proxy for Windows transition to privileged containers. Any update? Uh, yeah, this is uh, overall in, in progress. Uh, there were also uh, quite a few enhancements to CSI proxy that was submitted to improve its uh, performance overall. Uh, so that's all going in. Thank you. Sure. And next one is that node expansion secret is humble here. I, I think basically this is also kept merged. So should be on track. And send out application notice for flex volume. So when we, we do we still need this is down, so we don't need to. Okay, leave it here. Just even though there's any follow-up work. Okay. And next one, um, official deprecated cloud provider. This one also sets down, so we'll just leave it here for now. CS migration core bugs and issues. Do we have any update on this? Michelle, Matt. Are there any other um, core issues for to work on for this? So I think the there's one bug fix out uh, that Jawway has related to um, volume limits. I think that's the only outstanding issue that we're aware of. Okay. Thanks. And. CSM migration vSphere. Uh, it's a Deviant here, by any chance. Uh, so, right, so I think we had some discussions uh, on Slack on this one, right? So, right now, um, the main issue is the Windows support. Um, so, can we start testing? So, running problems with the performance, and uh, there are some concurrency issues when it runs. Uh, concurrent tests. Uh, so there are, uh, I think he opened three issues. Uh, one is the performance issue uh, with the CSI proxy. And there was a temporary fix, but didn't seem to improve it in our own testing. Um, and then there was one issue with the, with the resize. Uh, there, was a, there was a bug fix that the DVR submitted that's still been reviewed and then I think the, the most I, I think the, the the biggest issue is with the read only one because we still have not got to the bottom of that that's a very strange issue um, when running multiple uh, volume resize operations and some of those just become read only for some reason so that's still so that's why there are so many issues uh, that's why uh, we were thinking that just to, for the Windows support, we just uh, keep it as alpha. Um, we never support a resize for the entry vSphere driver. Correct, but this is a, uh, this is a with Windows support enabled. Um, so this is Windows support in general, right? So not necessarily because of the CSM migration. So if we enable Windows support, that's for everything, right? That's for not just for migrated volumes, but for other volumes as well. 
So that's why we are running, basically we're running mixed operations, D4GA. Uh, now then we run into, but the entry drive of course never gone through those testing at all, right? So we, as a matter of fact, we never got any questions for any customers regarding Windows support with the entry driver. So uh, we doubted anyone's actually using that. So um, because of that, right now we are, you know, thinking this just to keep it as a alpha. So uh, we can, you know, we can continue discussion on Slack just to determine like, uh, you know, whether this is a blocking GA or, so what about the, so basically for in why not 24, because it's, right now we're not really going GA yet, but we, in why not 24, we target to turn this on, on by default, but still stay in beta. Um, so if we keep the, the Windows support alpha, will that be a problem? I guess that's more immediate question, I guess, for 1.24. Do you guys have any thought? Uh, Hamand, Michelle? Or... I guess my main, so I think in, in general, like our sort of rule of thumb for CSI migration was like parity with entry. Um, so I guess my... I guess the question is, is, we don't really know the answer, but is Windows for entry also sim have similar issues? Well, and... so you can't, re so, okay. so the thing is that, the, okay, the CSI, okay, first of all, uh, well, maybe we don't have to talk about the CSI proxy issue because I think the, seems to me the biggest blocker is this read only thing, which that... they're not going to try that on in because we don't support Volume expansion for entry volumes, right? So we won't, won't even. So then I think that's for volume. CSI migration, then it's not an issue, right? Because Correct. since entry doesn't support resize, Correct. then there is no requirement for CSI migration to support resize. That is that is true as well. Yeah, I think the, the uh, yeah, so for migration as such, it is not a blocker. The question mark will be like, then we'll say like, migration is enabled, but your window support is alpha because that's like, uh, yeah. yeah. I guess it would be good to get a summary of all of the issues and we can like go through it one by one to, to evaluate. Like I think the resize issue, I think we can, you know, say since it's not, it's not supported in tree, then it's not part of the CSI migration criteria. Um, but I want to understand the other non-resize non related issues you were seeing. Yeah, so actually, I, I think actually there are three issues, two issues are related to resize. Uh, only one issue is the performance issue, but that's the CSR proxy issue that uh, it's not even, it's not a vSphere plugin specific issue. That's because the PowerShell, you know, it uses a lot of PowerShell that- uh, Yeah, I guess my under, no issue. my question is, is, does entry have the same Oh, entry and won't be it, in proxy as a proxy, right? But so, it, entry does use PowerShell, is my understanding. Right. Well, this is a CSA proxy specific issue, I think. Mm, no, if entry it. also uses PowerShell, I oh, would imagine okay. it could have yeah. a similar issue. But so that's the but kind it's of not a, like, I, I like, What I'm saying is not, this is not a VSQL plugin specific issue. This is a, like for all everybody, all drivers. I agree. Performance issue, yeah. So that one, so, I don't really think that's a blocker, but we definitely can. I know, but I, that. I, yeah. But basically, our I think our rule of thumb is we only need to match entry behavior. Okay. Right? So if entry behavior also has the same performance issue, then we can say that's fine for the purposes of the CSI migration feature. It just needs to match. It doesn't need to be better. Yeah, yeah. I, make, that makes sense. Yeah, sure. Okay, well, uh, yeah, maybe it's better just to put them together in a doc instead of uh, like <laughs> chatting on Slack. It's uh, then sure, things uh, will get lost. So just uh, one quick data point there, Shane. Mm -hmm. So it sounded like uh, someone was doing a very specific test, right? Like bringing up pod with volumes on Windows every second within a node. Something like that. They are like, yeah, we have like performance testing doing something, and then we have system testing doing some lot of concurrent stuff, a lot of things doing together. And then, and then they are trying to match that with Linux. Of course, that's just impossible. It looks like Windows is just so much slower. Right. So just um, to get back to Michelle's point, I was just curious: was that test also done with the Entry vSphere plugin, or no. was that? 
No, <laughs> we didn't. We didn't really test. We only did some very basic tests with the in tree one. This okay. is only for the auto tree. Yeah, the CSA driver. So, so this <laughs> performance test uh, is both for Windows and Linux, right? And uh, correct. Uh, did you yes. Also compare, compare Linux in tree and Linux CSI. Yes, right? No, I'm just saying because kind of Windows is new, oh. right? So like I'm just right. saying like for example the. People who are doing perf uh, performance testing, they're like, "Oh, how come it's so slow? Just to, like can't compare yeah. with the other." But yeah. but you can't really compare them. They're, they are just different. That's what we learned. Um, yeah. So I think working folks as well, right? I so think that's why it's important that we make sure. Like, I don't think we can compare Linux with Windows, right? We need to compare yeah. Windows with Windows. Correct. Yeah. 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 I, I I actually think the performance issues. That's not the blocker. It's really the, I think this read anything is very strange. That's the thing that I'm, I'm a little concerned. Yeah, let's, let's discuss about the read only on on, uh, on GitHub or something. I'm curious. I think we'll have to engage someone who knows Windows. Much yeah, better. that's the thing. We just, just does not look like there are a lot of uh, expertise, at least when we brought this up. So um, we can. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. So, so let me just uh, we'll, I'll talk to Divian. We sh yeah, let's uh, summarize everything in, in one doc this way. You know, everything's together, right? We can go back and uh, look at each issue. Um, yeah. Okay. Thank you. Uh, and next. Uh, a new disk. Yeah, I think this one, Andy has a PR out um, to uh, bump this to GA. I think it's on my plate to look at. Um, I think I just wanted to double sync up with Andy and double check that he's run through all of the testing. Okay, thank you. Oh, one thing I want to ask is, uh, uh, maybe we should, okay, maybe uh, we should also see if uh, people working on CSM migration, if they want to write blog. Um, so Humble said he wanted to write a blog for SAP CSM migration. Um, so I wonder if uh, others, other folks want to write for their specific drivers. Uh, okay, so Azure file, is this one also going beta? Or is there is any change? Oh, okay. No, I think this one is on by default, but staying in beta. Okay. So we're still going forward, right? I, I, not sure, I don't remember the, like the 1.24 status that already, that's off at that time. Yeah, I believe it went to beta last release. So then this release would be on by default. Okay. Yeah, I remember there was something that got put up or maybe this is, it's the next two. Okay, uh, just remember something, maybe it, AWS. Yeah, right. so so here we're actually, uh, the uh, um, uh, GCE is still beta in 124. Okay. It's already on by um, default, right? Yeah, it went on by default in 123. Oh, okay. So it's beta, but it's it it uh, just went on in GKE in one twenty two, which is you know still hasn't seen huge amounts of usage. So um, we'd like to see it bake there a bit, and, and just given the timeline of stuff, that means the one twenty five is I think when we're gonna put it to uh, GA. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah. By the way, for Azure file. Yeah, it's uh, Azure file and Azure disk. It's, it's a little bit uh, curious, as in like the cloud provider, entry cloud provider has to be still enabled for Azure file, even though Azure disk is being moved out of tree. So it, it uh, I don't know if anybody will run into any trouble because of that, but uh -huh. I just found it a little bit, a uh, little bit odd, I guess, that uh, Azure disk will be GA, so cloud, so. Not not Azure, GA, right? You, are you talking about Azure? Which one are you talking Azure about? Azure disk is going GA. Oh, I, oh, you're talking about Azure disk, okay. So 
uh, but Azure file will be beta, so we still need the cloud provider configuration. Oh, you're saying like there are two different, uh, you think they should be going same? Or what, what is your, I'm not getting. It would have been ideal, but I guess it's, mm -hmm. it's like, so that the uh, people running Cube Control Manager could disable the entry cloud provider altogether. But oh. now we are in this weird state where like, we'll have to run the cloud provider for the- Oh, so you're saying it's just like, it's like one plugin entry. But there are two separate driver auto tree, is that right? The auto tree driver is that one driver or two drivers? It's it's two drivers in okay. tree and two drivers out of tree. The I guess the main thing is they both depend on cloud provider. So cloud oh, provider okay. cannot be removed until both the plugins are removed. Oh, I see, I see. So I think Kamat is saying Azure uh, disk going GA doesn't make too much of a difference in terms of the <laughs> removal of okay. the cloud provider. I see. Uh, just want to confirm to uh, enable the uh, cloud provider, right? We must first enable CSM migration. Otherwise, entry will not work with the out of tree or cloud provider. Is that right? Uh, uh, say, say that again. Um, so I'm saying if you want to move to out of tree cloud provider, we must uh, first enable CSM migration because otherwise in tree um, driver will not work with out of tree cloud provider. That's right. So in this case, customers, uh, people, they won't be able to run out of tree cloud provider actually because, uh, because they will have to run the entry and we don't want them to run two cloud providers. Is there a problem running both in tree and out of tree cloud providers? They could be tagging the nodes differently. Like we have seen like maybe thus possibly like if like it depends on cloud provider. Like in vSphere case, we have seen that if there's some specific zone information, then the entry and out of tree cloud provider could tag node differently and cause scheduling uh, scheduling problems of parts. I don't know if it applies to Azure, but generally we don't want people to run two cloud providers at the same time. Mm -hmm. Uh, okay, so I think uh, I may my talk offline, like to think about the, the steps, right? <laughs> really to I was block. just saying, uh, it, it's mm. not a blocker issue, but it's, it seems mm. like it buys us very little at this point. Mm. <clears throat> okay, thank you. Thanks. And uh, next one is... Uh, this is the AWS, I believe this one, I think it's going to be delayed, right, Michelle? I remember there was some, there was some comments. On, yeah, on the I believe um, AWS also will be deferred till 125 to get more testing. Okay, so this, we'll just change this one to still beta then. Oh, this one should also change it so to beta. Uh, all right, beta. So we should just change this to beta. Okay. And last one is OpenStack. I think this, okay, so the yeah, cap merged, PI is also merged, uh, it's just docs. So probably, probably want to pin, I'll, I'll pin Dims and see if it's a updating doc. Uh, so Ceph RBD and uh, Ceph FS, uh, yeah, so this is a this is this both are merged, both cap are merged. So it's, uh, I think it's on track. Okay, 
Let's see. Started. And next one is the port works. So I think this is also merged. Does anyone have any update? Just say cap merged. Uh, next one is always owner reclaim policy. Deepak? Yeah, so the caps merged, I'm implementing it. Thank you. Uh, next one is a uh, control remote conversion between source and target. So this is also merged. The cap is also merged. We'll work on implementation. So the next two, uh, secret protection and in use protection, those are so both are Masaki, looks like Masaki, I think it's not in the meeting today. So I think he said he's still interested in working on them. Um, but I think it's still, this will be designed. Next one is, uh, user ID ownership in config maps and secrets. So do we have any update on this, Hamant? Um, no, I don't think there has been any movement on this. Somebody maybe needs to, if somebody wants to own this and uh, kickstart the work, that'll be nice because that owner has I don't know, uh, JRV, if you had a chance to sync with Abhishek, but we haven't heard anything from him, right? Uh, yeah. Okay, so just ask a question. If anyone want to hold this, chat, uh, talk to Hermand about this? I, I don't know what this one is about. Yeah, I haven't heard anything from Abhishek on this okay. in a while. And there was a cap already, right? Um, there was a cap, but it was uh, not approved. It was, uh, yeah, it was kind of provisional and it needed a lot, lot more work. Okay, thanks. And next one, numbers for no shutdown. So this one, uh, cap merged. Um, yeah, so we started uh, working on this. And next one is uh, a PVC created by Safer Set will not be auto removed. I think we are staying alpha, right, Matt? Yeah, this is still alpha. Um, we'll go beta in 125. So. Thank you. Next one is a uh, world expansion for stay for set. Is uh, Shalini in the meeting by any chance? Um, so, uh, so she I, uh, chatted with her last week. She's uh, still uh, trying to update the uh, the cap addressing comments, um, but I have not. Does not look like she up, uh, submitted the updated cap yet. Yeah, I think the See. this uh, gap has this one has to be moved to next release. The yeah. main thing is that uh, it needs uh, like the the actual detailed implementation detail of like not too much in detail, but at least the rough overview of how we are going to update the PVC. The flow should be discussed okay. in the cap. So you're basically saying that the the cap does not have that that much detail. You're saying um, it, that's the. But the, the other cap that you referenced, you're saying that one has more, right? That's, yeah, uh, yeah. So yeah. we need the flow, like how will okay. how yeah. will the PVC be updated? How will the 
when will the parts get restarted and or, or if they get restarted at all, things like that. Yeah, so she's, uh, she's reading that, the, the other cap that you uh, referenced. So I think she's trying to add some of that from this other cap to this new cap. Just I don't have not seen uh, her final version. So, but yeah, I'll ping her again, see where she is. Next one is a uh, uh, execution hook, hook until notifier. So this one uh, still design. I've not uh, got an update on this one. Next one is uh, secure Linux relabeling using mount options. Young. So the cap is merged, and I will start on the code soon. Thanks. Probably should move this one up. Yeah, I think this is, this is a six story on, on me. Yeah, okay. All right, so that's everything in the spreadsheet. Uh, going back here, I, okay, there are, we don't have uh, any other issues added here. Uh, does anyone have anything else you want to discuss in today's meeting? Okay, that's it for today. Thanks everyone. Bye. Thank you, Jun. Thank you.